here. Turn the camera around. Hold that light. That. And then. Well, still, men always want to see me. Yeah. Yeah, okay. People want to see you. Okay, well, they got a tour of the garden. Okay. Have you looked at the corn? No, I they haven't. They got tasks on They got the. T tassels? Yep. Sweet, okay. Yeah. Um, go ahead and put it back on the. Uh... Yeah, obviously, I'm not good at this. Bye. <laughs>
pull out any water that we have put in here. But here's an overview. Make sure we water. We had some rain come in last night. So we didn't water this morning because we don't want to overwater. So by tomorrow we should water again. We're going to have to work on these potatoes. But again, this is our first year growing anything on this property. So I say we did a pretty good job considering we're still figuring out what grows. There's another one of those, well, I guess, wild watermelon type plant. But again, there's a few more of those sunflowers. If you can see. These sunflowers just popped up here on the property. I did not plant these. They're everywhere. Which is kind of cool, because I like sunflowers. They're one of my favorites. Here you go. And this one over here is really tall. That one's taller than Donald, and he's over six foot. And it's got buds all over it. It's pretty cool. I, I like these nice surprises. Property is always full of surprises. All right, we're gonna go check on Donald. He's been hanging fly bags. As everyone knows, flies have been bad this year. So we're trying to reduce them around the livestock. Hi everybody, welcome to the OC Homestead. My name is Donald and this is my wife. Leah. And uh, we're setting up some fly traps today. Um, we have quite a bit of a fly problem in, in your Miss Piggy. Uh, they especially like her food. Actually more so than they like the boys' food. Well hers they, is not open, kind of. Well, it, it's all, it also is more protein based, you know, instead of, of there's more protein in her food. But. Yeah. So we're setting up these fly traps, and uh, uh, if you don't know anything about them, they, they have like a, I think there's like egg white inside of it and stuff like that. So stuff, it's stuff that flies like. You just add water to it, and then it reeks. So uh, it will collect flies. Um, so this is what it looks like, empty. All right, you, um, it has this little thing. So this is sealed usually at the top. I just cut this one open. Uh, and you, you hang a string from it, open it up, pour water in right there, hang it from a tree. So that's what we are going to do. So. Alright, fill it up to the line. There's a line right here. You fill it up to the line. They're curious, the boys. So he's going to know what you doing. He doesn't weigh that much. So just tying it off to this little branch, I mean, a little sapling of a branch, should be just fine. And it just hangs here. I put it right here. Because this is where the boys like to do their business. Uh, we, we also spread down straw or hay over the area too to help break down the uh, uh, organic matter with, the, uh, uh, with some carbon and it helps take care of any smell. Actually, a clean pigsty doesn't stink like a pigsty. I don't know why my mom always said my room smelled like a pigsty. You say hi. So I have not been socializing with the boys as much as I should. Uh, one, because, well, 
we all know where they're, they're going to freezer camp in a while. Uh, but let's see how well they accept me if I try to socialize them. Notice how he doesn't want me to touch him. Notice how he is very scared of me touching him. Here we go again. He's becoming more social. Nope, he doesn't. He's skinned off fish. Hey, Miss Piggy. Hey, Miss Piggy. Look at this. See, she really likes getting pet right now. Because she, because I've been socializing with her routinely every day, pretty much. Um, so what I do is I just come in here and just pet her and let her uh, get used to me petting her because, you know, in the near future, we're going to be breeding her. And I want her to be comfortable around me and I want her babies to be comfortable. Well, I want her to be comfortable with me being around her babies. So, anyhow, please remember to like this video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and what? Hit the notification bell. Hit that notification bell so you get notified every time we upload a new video. Well, Let's go in because well it's getting dark and I am hot and tired. As you can hear the cicadas are really loud. <laughs> they can't hear you because you're not loud. The cicadas are really loud. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching. God bless. Bye.